Hello and welcome to CADRAV. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a 3D model in Siemens NX using a 2D sketch. So let's get started. First, we are going to create this base body of T-shape and again we are going to create this tangent to a circle body and again creating a circular bosses and at the center for whole purpose. So let's get started. First, we have to create this base body using extrude command now let's create a rough sketch of this t-shaped body we are going to create mirror of this body the distance is vertical distance 16 8 mm 18 mm and 14 mm so this height is 16 This height is 8 mm. This width is 20 mm. And this width is 18 mm. Now, sketch is fully defined. Let's make an extrude. Select symmetric option from start limit. The distance is 136. Click on OK. Now we have a body ready. Now we have to select mirror feature, select this feature. In drop down menu, select existing plane, select this plane. Click on OK and you can see now our body is ready. Let's make united this body and this body. Now we have to create this body for Flange purpose. So select sketch, select this face, select this origin point. You can see now our sketch is ready. Let's project two, three entities for our reference purpose. In filter, select entire assembly. Let's intersect this also. Let's make a profile. Before making profile, let's make a circle. These two circle. The dimension of this circle is 18 and 42. Dia will be 42. This ID will be 18 mm the height from base to the center point is 75 mm so let's define this center point let's select this base point 75 let's make it for construction purpose now we have to create this tangent line with respect to this base line Define another line. Let's trim this outer curve. You can see now our sketch is fully defined. Let's trim this boundary also. Finish the sketch. And we have to extrude these entities up to 136. We have at 136 and this is 20 mm, 20 minus 144 minus 136, 8 mm, 4 mm. Okay, this distance will be 20 minus 4, 16 mm. So, extra this body, the value will be 16 mm, and please make sure Boolean selected is none. Now we have to mirror this extrude, select mirror feature, specify plane, and you can see now our two flanges has been ready. Now we have to make uh, this outer circular boss for 4 mm. So let's select 
a sketch on this face. You can project this circle directly. Go to intersect curve and create outer circle, outer circle of dia of 42 mm. This dial will be 42 mm. And let's say extrude this body. That body distance is 4 mm. And here we are going to select Boolean as unite. The target body is this. Now to mirror this feature, same, select existing plane, select this plane, click on OK and let's see now our flange is ready. Now we have to just make a center hole and center boss. So select a top face, draw two circle of dia for 20 and 40 at center so let's uh, exit this cage we didn't define our center origin of this cage go to sketch Select this face. Let's define our origin point. You can see now our origin point is defined. So we didn't have to make too much dimension and relations. The dimension of this circle is 14 and 20. So this dia will be 14 mm. This dia will be 20 mm. Let's finish this sketch. We have to extrude up to 2 mm. So let's say extrude up to 2 mm. This will be unite with this body. Now we have to make a hole for this of 20 mm. So go to extrude again. In the filter, select single curve and select this ID of this cage and the distance of 25 mm symmetric value and select boolean subtract subtract from this body and you can see now let's make a distance of 25 mm let's increase the value let's say 100 you can see now our hole has been created at center. So this is our model is ready. So this is how very simple is Siemens Annex to create a body using boolean command. So let's make unite this all bodies. This body. You can see now our body has been united. Now let's define object color for this body. So let's select this body. Select Ctrl J, the body color will be this. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.